G'day, in this video, I wanna share with you some information that was based on a question I asked some good friends of mine who are all professionals when it comes to this. Um, the question I asked them was, what's one thing you take to the track that others don't often think about, you know? So it's something that would make it more convenient or would help you out in terms of your bike or yourself or whatever the case may be. Um, the reason I actually asked this is, uh, I, I remember going to the track at Morgan Park in uh, the southeast end of Queensland, and I'd sit there and I'd watch people in there, you know, during race events, setting up their pit garages and organising the bikes and themselves, and then I get these good ideas based on what I was seeing. And as a result of that, I started taking some things that made my life so much easier. For example, one of the things that I learned to take was a heavy duty, like heavy duty welding gloves, at least one, and. People go, what would you take that for? Well, it's interesting because when you wheel a tire in, particularly on a track where there's a lot of gravel or dirt around or that type of thing, you wheel your bike into the pit garage, the hot tire straight off the track picks up a lot of rocks. And then you go and put it on the stands and you want to put your uh, tire warmers on the tire, but it's covered in rocks. Well, what are you going to do? Are you going to you know, run up with your hand or whatever? Well, you're not going to do that. And I learned to carry a big heavy welder's glove and I would use that glove to rub all of that stuff off and clean the tire without getting my hand dirty. And uh, I thought that was just such a cool thing to stick in the toolbox. The other thing I learned to take was uh, a blower, you know, so one of those garden blowers, so that, you know, as rocks are getting carried in there, I could just blow them out uh, back onto the road and get them away from, um, you know, the bike itself within the pit garage. So there's a couple of ideas, you know, uh, around what you might think t uh, about taking to the track. So uh, here's the thoughts of my friends, which is uh, Mark McGregor from Addicted to Track, Stephanie Redman, Coach 49. Uh, we've got Ash Hare from the Californian Superbike School and also Steve Brogy from Mega here in Australia. What's something you always you're always glad you take with you to the track. And this is like something that they wouldn't necessarily think of. A chair. <laughs> like, yeah, you'd be surprised how many times you get to the track and you, you don't have somewhere to sit. Uh, so having somewhere comfortable to sit or just even something to sit on is, yeah. is a lifesaver because standing around on concrete all day or, you know, sitting on the ground is not so much fun. So if you've, you've gone out and done your your 20 minute session and you've been going as hard as you can the first thing you want is to put the bike on the stand and then have a sit down and have a drink so for me it's a chair and mostly because <laughs> I, like I forget them a lot too i think <laughs> <laughs> well take two because you can hire one out <laughs> yeah there you go lots of um i drink a lot of uh, coconut water um yeah. so electrolytes and looking after myself, so making sure that I'm hydrated and I'm putting good electrolytes in. The other would be uh, extension leads for tire warmers and uh, making sure um, you know you've got, either got a um, you know a multi a multi box or something uh, to be able to uh, plug your tire warmers in. So those two things: extension leads, multi boxes, coconut water. Yeah, wow. Yeah, simple little thing, eh? People turn up with tire warmers and then they haven't got two plugs to plug them into. Yeah, yeah. Or they ride, they end up thirsty and then get end up de dehydrated, particularly in Australia. Yeah. The first thing to go when you get dehydrated is your brain. You can't yeah. think. Yeah. So you just stay right on top of that hydration. My rolly stool. <laughs> what is it? Little uh, stool. You can buy from Super Cheap or whatever, but a little tool stool. You know, so it's a round right. stool that's got um, you know, casters on it. Um, there's nothing worse than being fatigued um you know uh yeah you want to check your tire pressures you've got your leathers on your boots on and all the rest of it you know squatting down on your haunches and whatever um yeah so uh the little rolly stool is good to cruise around in the pits um um yeah i think that's i know the, i know the one they have them at super cheap auto they yeah. little stool with a tray under it you can put your yeah, tools in it. yeah leave your tools yeah. in there so you leave your leave your uh leave your uh tire pressure gauge in there um yeah i'm uh i'm just making a note here i better go and buy myself one <laughs> they're, they're awesome you. they're awesome well i think again just just think about what sort of things you might need yeah. you know someone needs some extra fuel for example yeah. uh and if i've prepared my bike correctly i'm going to need to make sure that i look after myself because you know riding a motorcycle around a racetrack is very very different than any other activity you do yeah um 
you know, when you look at, I don't know about you, but watching the, the, the heart rates that they put up for the races of MotoGP, right? Mm. So they're doing a 40 to 45 minute race, right? Mm. And their heart rates don't dip below 150. They're generally up around the 160 plus mark, agreed? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Can you physically, through any other sort of exercise, can you physically recreate that? No, you can't. Your mm. body would actually give out first. Yeah. So you're putting yourself under enormous amounts of stress and pressure and it's going to physically tire you. So mm. you want to make sure that you've got appropriate food, water, and a place where you can sort of depressurize in between sessions. Yeah. So I sometimes like to just go sit in my car just to get away from the noise just a little bit. Well, there you go. I hope you get some good ideas out of that and, uh, you know, stay upright, enjoy your days in the track and uh, I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.